Today I'm going to talk about IHC Merck, what it can do for you, and how to set it up, and how to get it going. But first, let's talk about what is it. IHC Merck is an add-on that goes on to Red Guides MQ2, and what it does is it allows you to turn certain classes into Mercs. For example, right here I have Animal Trainer. He's a Beast Lord, but he's really a Merc. He plays by himself. I have Patch Adams, who's a Shaman, and the Diamond Center, who is an Enchanter. I'm going to play Small Face. So the nice thing about IHC Merc is it allows you to turn uh, your other boxes into Mercs. You know, you, you only have four Mercs out there. You have your Tank Merc, Healer Merc, Caster Merc, and a Melee DPS. But wouldn't it be cool if they have a Shaman Merc or Enchanter Merc or Beast Lord Merc? Well, here they do. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to do it, and let's get started. First thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have Red Guides and the Very Vanilla Launcher. You get this by going over to redguides.com. It'll cost you $10 a month to get this uh, going. It's well, well worth it really make your life a lot easier so go ahead and get this if you're not sure how to get this you could look at my other video on EQBCS it talks a little bit about it once you get this make sure you launch it make sure these two this number this one is in green here where it says last installed and sometimes they have a new update make sure you have your EQBCS selected I'm running four different sessions on my computer right here so you can see exactly what it's like if you're in a multi box uh, some people can do more, but anyway, you hit the launch button. It'll launch that after it launches it. You should see down here. You should see it running right there. Okay, so let's go ahead. After you do that, you can close this. And you can see over here, EQ, uh, excuse me, EQBCS is running. Refer to the previous video I made on what is EQBCS and how can it benefit you. And let's get right into it. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the website here. This is what it's going to look like and then you're going to go over to macros right here this is after you've uh, signed up over there go down in your macros and you should see it right here it's a very very popular um, ihc mercs click on this it will go ahead and ask you to download this thing you click on this and what will happen is down here it'll bring this up and i'm sure you've downloaded things before you know how this goes to make things easier right now because everybody has a different way to do this. Some people just open it and they do the thing. Other people put it in a directory and copy it all over. But this is what you should have in the end. In the end, it should look like this. You want to copy that into this macros directory. So if you go to the exact, if you install Red Guides Very Vanilla in the, the default directory, which I highly recommend, you should have a directory that looks just like this underneath macro so you just copy the file in here let's go ahead and I'll open it up and uh, this is what it looks like here and these things should go in this directory so if we look at to or look at it just like this you want it to look grab these guys here like so drag them into the macros directory see how I'm doing this I've already done it so uh, we don't have to do it again, but that's what it should do. And you're going to drag it right into this macros directory so that it'll look like this. You may have fewer files than, than me because I have a couple of them from my other characters that I've made already. So that's what's important. You make sure you get this. If you don't get the directory right and you don't copy this out, it's not going to work. Um, also, it helps to have WinRAR or some kind of um, program that will go ahead and unpack it for you. If you... It should automatically come up okay so then your directory structure looks exactly like this in here you should have this direct this stuff in here uh, same amount of items you should have manuals i'm going to show you the command reference which is this in case you're a real uh a type of person that's real techie and you like to read read through this and it'll show you all the command lines and all that but you're not going to need to know any of that um for now i'm going to just get you up and running so anyway this is what it looks like I say it for the third time, it's super duper duper important, okay? And you get the, by going to Red Guides, hitting the download button over here. Okay, we're going to close this window like so. Now we're going to go back to here. And this is our group. We are in the House of Thule in the courtyard. There's other box teams out here doing their thing. Okay, so we're going to go like this. 
And we're coming back to this. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through all the steps here. Now I'm playing, let me click off a few of these here. Don't need this, don't need that. I'm playing this character here. He's level 85. He is a Shadow Knight. And this character over here is level 85 Beast Lord. These are fresh heroics, courtesy of the Miracle server, copied down to the test server. And I have Patch Adams. He is a Shaman. And I have the Diamond Center. And this guy is an Enchanter. Notice they have no spells loaded at all. Okay, and I've already run IHC Merc on here, but I'm going to go ahead and run it one more time just to show you how this whole thing works and just so you can get an idea. Okay, so on this, the spell is already loaded. So this is the, the character I'm going to be playing right here. I'm going to operate this character. Switch into view over to here, and we're going to wait back here. Let's go ahead and start with Animal Trainer. The first thing you want to do is do this. and do Mac, it's down here, Mac, I-H-C-I-N-S-T-A-L-L. -L. Okay, now I've already installed it, but here it goes again, and it's run, and it sends this message, do I-H-C start to begin? And that's all you gotta do, watch this. Okay, slash I-H-C start. Bing, look at this, it's gonna start loading all these spells up. Gonna load them all up just like that. Look at the spells come up. You don't have to do anything. The spells are going to be there for you. And the nice thing about this is as you level up it and you buy the spells, of course, it adds the latest spells you can get, uh, the, the ones that you bought. So, for example, we're 85 now. If we level to 86 and we buy the spells, it's going to go ahead and start installing those spells for us just like that. We don't have to, to worry about it. It takes care of all of that for you. Okay, next thing, let's go to this one. Once again, I've, I've already installed it, but I'm going to go ahead and do it again. IHC start right down here. You can see it at the bottom. And there it goes. Okay. And then we're going to go to this guy here, the Diamond Center. IHC install. Okay, you only have to do the install one time. IHC start. Now it's important to go back to your leader of your group. Make sure you set the roles right. I set myself as main tank and assist. Just do these kind of things. If you want to be the puller, for example, set as a puller so your characters don't go running all over the place. Remember, they're going to operate just like mercs. And with mercs, the same things. If you don't set uh, yourself as a puller and you go running out there, the healer is going to follow you out there and it's going to get killed. Okay, so we're going to do that. You can also install IHC merc on this character here which would be pretty good and it will assist you in fighting it's kind of cool i'll show you that but basically i'm going to let you see the other guys fight but first we're going to wait and we're going to see how these guys are doing all the spells are loaded up okay he already had his pet okay some you have to have the reagent if you want a pet like for example i did not buy the pet for the enchanter so he doesn't have it and this guy's loading all his stuff here we're going to go ahead and close it we're going to close this window and we'll come back to the diamond center. Look at this. They're all coming up. It's showing you what spells are loading. You can see here what spells are being loaded. You got to wait a little while, wait till all the spells come up. He's trying to load the pet right here, but once again, I don't have the tiny dagger, so no pet today, unfortunately. Look at this. He even creates this Azure Mind Crystal, which is really nice. You know, I, I never make this, but he's giving you this. It restores 3,000 mana. Sweet, huh? I never, but I'm too lazy to even make that. But look at this. He's got, I play an enchanter as my main. Look, let's uh, talk about what he, he put up. Okay, he's got uh, a Maz, and then he's got an Air of Effect Maz. He's got uh, Tosh, which is debuff. He's got a slow, looks like a nuke. He's got an uh, incapacitate type of spell. Nuke, nuke, dot, stun, like this. And what's this? This Night's Dark Terror. Okay, go ahead. Go for it, boy. Patch Adams. Look at this. All the shaman stuff. There's some spells missing here. But he's got all the stuff. He's starting to pop all of this stuff out here. Animal Trainer's got all his stuff. Um, you know, you can see. But let's get these guys out there and let's try it out. Let's get them into action. Okay, so 
one easy one let's uh do this and then we're gonna really put it to the test okay uh let me get you back here okay here he goes all right and might as well pop this on since it's taking so long and we're just beat on i also have a merc here uh if you have a real healer it's even better and you can get him on ihc it works fantastic that way he can do all sorts of stuff for you uh, he can uh, res you battle res you and everything the healer merc here is just because i don't have an i my computer's too slow and i can't run more than four sessions otherwise it gets really really slow so look at the spells he's popping he's popping malaise look at this but by that time he's going to be dead already so let's go back to check out what he's doing here this guy is uh casting a nuke this guy is just waiting to heal an animal trainer is just going berserk on him right there so there we go that's it so this is what he's casting very nice let's see this on a corpse let's make this a little bit more interesting let's try to bring in a, a couple more uh i can get him let's bring in two this will bring the snake in with them uh, maybe it won't okay so let's go ahead and let's bring in more make this challenging bring in two okay let's see let's bring in two come on one's got a dot that's the only problem okay so the dot is actually bad i should not put the dot on because it's going to be hard to miss him so look at that he's got the slow on him he's got turgers on him very nice let's look at the other guy over there he's got turgers on him nice look at him being healed patch adams is doing the happy dance and uh with a shaman and healer you're never gonna die out here okay there's another one let's go ahead and get him there we go let's get three let's see what happens there goes the mez look at that he tried to mez him which is really nice let's see if we can bring in four there's this guy here let's just push it to limit charge for power okay let's see come on let's get wild out here let's see come on animal trainer you can do it yeah, let's get the party started right here let's go take him to town Ooh, it's getting hairy over there oh, we lost the healer merc is gonna get interesting Come on, Shaman. Keep us up. And we lost Animal Trainer. It's not going to go well. So that's a little bit too much on the, on the ways of a pull there. And, uh... We're going to see if we can get them out. Get out of this here. And we have Patch Adam still hanging in there at the helm. It's pretty strong. Got lots of mana, we're gonna keep fighting it out. As you can see, you can take, uh, we still survive Go Go, Patch Adams, and Diamond Center. We should have mezzed these guys right here. And uh, yep, there we go. There's looks like a mez. There's two mezzes there, very nice. So what do we have over there? Good, he mezzed them, very nice. That's the way to go. And this guy, he's kept on mess. So you can see the enchanter's work, and it's really nice. With the enchanter doing his thing, giving us time there. There we go. And there we go. It's time for Mr. Snake here. I'll go over a couple things right after this and show you how to turn this off if that doesn't work out for you. Let's just fix this guy's wagon. Like right, you can see here, the shaman's going nice on him. Got the slow on him, very nice. There we 
go. Okay, he's dead. We have two guys that <laughs> are di have died because we pulled a little bit too much. But anyway, they'll be back shortly. Uh, this guy's coming back in two minutes. But let's uh, say that you're running this and you want to stop it. All you do is simply type slash end like this. This one isn't uh, that way. So let's go over to Patch Adams. I mean to Diamond Center. Let's do like this. Oh, we rezzed somebody. So that was good. Somebody got rezzed in there. And that was an animal trainer. So let's see what happened here. Uh, you notice animal trainer's back and soon the Merc will be back too. So probably 90% res. Let's go ahead. Let's uh, end it. Watch this. Slash end and it just ends it. Now you're back to normal. The IHC Merc is no longer running. But once again, if you want to start it, IHC start and there we go. It loads it up. It checks all the uh, settings in there. You can make changes as setting with the command reference here. And that's how you can get that going. So soon we'll have our thing. But here comes Animal Trainer. He's back in action. Just a few bruises. No big deal, he says. I can take another hit. And he's back in action. Look at him. He's going to start buffing. Let's watch this rebuff sequence. Here comes all his buffs. And he's casting everything, so he just goes through, does it all by himself. You don't have to do anything at all. And in terms of experience, looks like we got about 3% experience killing all those. And with this group, they could probably take down a, mer uh, a named guy here. But one thing I want to mention that IHC Merc is limited to, and that is it is limited to pulling. So one thing... Um, when you get to a higher level, say your max level is 110 or 115, you want to switch over to doing it manually using Kiss Assist itself. Because if your spells aren't changing much, it's better to do that. You can do pulling with it. It's much more customizable, but on the other hand, it's much more advanced too. But if you guys are interested in that, I'll go over that and make a video on that. But for this video, the purpose is just to get you guys started and get you rolling again and get everything up so you can start getting out there and making experience. Now this may not be the most optimal group here, but I just wanted to show that you can get an enchanter, a uh, beast lord, and a shaman, and they're all working pretty good about, pretty good, almost as good as you want to do it. If you want to tweak them even more, you can tweak them more. Okay, let's try this again as soon as we get this guy up. And you can tweak them even more so and get them to, um, to do specific things. For example, pulling, you can set the pull radius, you can set them to use only certain spells. IHC, it just uses them in a Merc fashion. So let's go ahead and uh, bring these guys in. Bring this guy in too. With, uh, without dots. So let's see what happens. And we're gonna fight him. And there goes a Merc, we're being healed. So you can see here, Animal Trainer's in action. Uh, Patch Adams, they just put Turgers on him. And Diamond Center is here. Let's check, uh, what do you do this guy? This guy's missed, okay, great. So as you can see here, take off attack. Look at that, he mezzed him, just like that. But you will notice here, what I would have done is I would have toshed and I would have slowed the guy right away. But see, they're switching already over to this guy. I would have toshed, slowed him, and then remezzed him before the mez wore off. But uh, still works. Like I said, it does a pretty good job, especially considering you can do uh, all classes except the Druid and the Necro up to this point. Later on, they're going to come out with the Druid and Necro one, so now is a great time to get it and oh look at our guy here Mr. Snake here he's still there and look at that he's mezzed but see you don't see any Tosh on him there they go they're going after him you don't see Tosh on them uh, they're using the Shaman slow this is trigger let's go ahead and we'll slow him and look at this it just fights by itself like just like that now I want to show you one final thing I want to go ahead and set myself as IHC start what if you do IHC start on yourself? Watch this. Like, you're going to get this. But it's going to go all by itself. Look at that. It's popping Steely Stance. 
All that stuff is really good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get the next guy in and watch what happens here. Okay, you come to me. Okay, here he comes. I press melee attack. And there we go. See, look at this. It's going right at him. See, there we go. It's getting a spell ready to cast on him. The spell is up here. And we can watch uh, what's going on here. Draper Corfax. And it'll try to get this Draper Corfax going. See, it just it works by itself. You can just hit attack and and you're off to the races like that. There you go, just like that. So you can run it on yourself too at the same time. Works great. Anyway, that's it for this. Um, set up your nice teams and uh, good luck to all you guys out there with IHC Merc. I hope this helps you out a lot and good luck. And thanks for watching.